A home on Myrtle Street that was frequented by homeless in the area was demolished early this morning after multiple fires and complaints from nearby residents continued to funnel in. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis spoke with some of the residents from the complex next door and what they see for the future of their neighborhood. Tani. Andy, they've seen at, neighbors tell me they've seen at least five fires in this property that is right here that is now demolished. However, those who live next door say that this demolition isn't enough to solve the problem. Residents in the neighboring apartment complex waking up to a demolished building of what they call a problem property. But while some are relieved to see the home gone, they do feel like this only scratches the surface of what they believe is the issue. A is a relief, but B, uh, I, I hope it stops all this. Because if you can see uh, what the damage did to our apartment building, that's just, this is just, this has got way out of hand. Surrounding homes facing smoke damage from the many fires, and after having to evacuate in the early hours of the morning because of the smoke, people want the city to take action. Not gonna stop until the city finally decides to do something about this. I mean, th that problem's already been solved. Thank you know, thank God it's a relief for all of us. We don't have to worry about waking up at four, three o'clock in the morning. You know, the building's on fire or something happens. The concerned resident says he just wants to improve the neighborhood that he loves, saying it should feel safe for those who live in it. While he says the demolition is a step in the right direction, he hopes more can be done. Less homeless people here, less, uh, you know, less crime. Because this is, like I said, this is not a bad neighborhood. You know, the lady next door has a little girl, you know, it, you can't bring her out because, oh, did this happen? You know, it, 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 this situation needed to be fixed. We spoke with some other residents in the area and they actually brought up the possibility of having the Opportunity Center, which is down that way, relocated. For now, Tawny Davis, KTSM 9 News.